Yes, yes, yes. Welcome everyone to session number four. Give me a one if you can see me. Give me a one if you can hear me clearly. Give me a one. Man, like Mike Kirby. Big up to Mike Kirby. JB Blood Club Taylor in the house. You know the score, JB. Miron Shaz, Omar Abbas, Reese. Let's go. Let's go, Reese. You know that. Oh my Abbas, what is happening, brother? What is happening? Rockaya, Rockaya, Beth Hardy in the house. Yes, the crew is back. Hey, Ali Faisley. Yes, Ali, how you doing? Adela is in there. Man like Tim Sin Tim in the house. Holy Jones, what's going on, Holy Jones? Hakeem Brighton all the way. Big up to the Brighton Massive. Big up to the Brighton Massive. Danny Wilson. Yes, Danny Wilson is ready tonight. Danny Wilson is ready tonight. Let's do this, Rima. Nice to see you too, Rima. Nice to see you too. Seeming Tad in the house. AJ Okonkwo in the house. Man like Logan. Yes! Where's Kami? Where is Kami in the house today? Where is Kami? Tom Northwood, what are you saying, Tom? What are you saying? The T to the O to the M. Yes, you know the score. Tom Northwood is right here. And it's out. We are here. Yes, yes, yes. The pre-red shortcuts, massive. Big it up for pre-red shortcuts. Big it up for pre-red shortcuts. We're doing it tonight. You know the deal, man like K-A-M-Y, man like K-A-M-Y, can be in the building. <laughs> it's going to be a crazy evening, peeps. Marie, how you doing, Marie? Welcome to the crew. Welcome to the best place to be, Mira M. Wow. Everyone is logging in. Great stuff. You know the score. Men lie, women lie, but pre-reg numbers don't. Since 2011, we've always had consistently above 72% in the final exam in the summer. Always, always above 72% every single summer since 2011. So, men lie, women lie, better numbers don't. You guys will all pass. We're going to smash this exam. Yes, we will. If others have done it, guess what? You can do it too. Man like Vibronic Wolf. Yes, Wolf. Oh, the wolf is in the house, but like Tassin. Yes, yes, yes. Doris, 10 mil spoonful QDS. <laughs> Are you guys ready? If you're ready to have fun tonight, if you're ready to have fun tonight, just type ready. If you're ready to have fun tonight, I hope I didn't miss anyone. LA Oak in the house. Yes, LA Oak is in the house. You know the rest. You know the rest. Man like Sam Jacks. Man like Sam Jacks in the house. So you guys know today we're going to go through questions and then tomorrow's session is just pure motivation. So tomorrow we're not going to answer any questions because we don't want to answer any questions. Tomorrow is all, it's going to be about motivation. So if you want to feel motivated, if you want to get pumped up, if you want to get in the right state, that's what tomorrow is going to be. Today we're going to do questions again, but tomorrow's session will be pure motivational. Come in here and get your dose of motivation. Come and get your dose of motivation so you could take that with you into the exam. You need that on the night before the exam. Who needs a shout out? If I'm not giving you a shout out, please let me know. Let me know because I want to give you a shout out. Shout out Ludo Group Chat. Ludo Group Chat. What is Ludo Group? What is the shout out to you guys anyway? Shout out. Olga is ready for tonight. Olga is ready. Big up to Olga. Nawaz Harun is ready for tonight. Yes, Harun. Nice one. Top man. Grace Westwood. Strange request, but can you do a shout out to Grace and Tara? Of course I can. Grace and Tara. Big up to Grace and Tara in the house. Special shout out to you. Special shout out. They all help to have your vision. So you know what? And we love your videos. Thank you very much. Big up to Grace. Big up to Tara for helping out Grace Westwood. Grace Westwood, we are all with you. The Success Family is right here. pre rare Shortcut Family. Who else is in here? Bradley. Bradley Ali Bone. Yes, some love to Bradley. Of course, Bradley, how can I leave you out? Special shout out to Yvonne Chan. Yvonne Chan, you know the rest, Yvonne. You know the rest. Man like Jazz Deep, legend in the house. Jazz Deep, shout out to Ali Faisley for Jazz Deep. Happy birthday. Wow. Whose birthday is it today? 
Who's is this Ali's birthday today? Ali, if this is your birthday today, then I'm giving you a special shout. Happy birthday, everyone. Drop a happy birthday to man like Ali Faisley. Drop a happy birthday. Let's all celebrate with the brother tonight. You know that that is for you. Happy birthday, my guy. Happy birthday. Yes. Shout out to me, Ratema. Shout out to all of you. Tonight, we're going to be great. We're going to go through questions. The motivation is going to be high. But let me tell you, tomorrow, tomorrow, make sure, make sure you don't miss the session because tomorrow's session is all about motivation. So what we're going to do is just keep you all motivated. No questions. I don't want anyone getting scared. I get oh my God, I don't know this will be too late for that. So tomorrow, we're going to ask questions in terms of exam day, what to do on the day of the exam, how to calm those nerves down, how to walk in there like a boss. Walk into the exam like a boss, you know what I mean? You want to walk into that exam like, yes, GPXC, you don't know. You don't know who's walking to the exam today. You guys will be the best. You will be the best because you've been on here tonight. So tomorrow is all about motivation. Are you ready? If you're ready to have fun tonight, give me a one, give me a one, give me a one. Martha Juko in the house. Gosh, I forgot to call one person. I need to sit and get ready for this name. This is my guy. This is my guy, Lam Timothy Ling Long Long. Man like Lam Timothy Ling Long Yang. What are you saying, Lam Timothy? Jimmy Block, Lad Taylor in the house. Hock Lim in the house. AJ Rank in the house. Everyone is here tonight. Let's go. Let's go. Big up to all of you. So, are you guys ready for questions? If you're ready for questions, let's jump straight in. Who do I leave out? Steven in the house. Big up to Steven. Audrey Chachu. I can't go through every single person because we've got 260 right now. But hey, if I'm not called your name, if I'm not giving you a shout out, I will give you a shout out. Amira, how's Amira doing? That's the name of my niece as well. My niece is called Amira. You're called Amira. So we are family. You know what I mean. We are family. Damage in the house, Mini Mochi in the house. Special shout out to all of you. So happy to be here tonight. I hope you're happy too. And what we're going to do is we're going to have fun. You know how we learn. Learn and banter. We study hard and we play hard. Learning and banter. You know the deal. Great. So who, whose birthday is? Well, I've got another birthday as well. Happy birthday, Marty. Marty, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We're going to walk into this exam like a boss. We're going to work out the exam like a boss. That's exactly what we're going to do. So who's in the exam on Tuesday? If you're doing the exam on Tuesday, please write Tuesday. If you're doing it on Wednesday, write Wednesday. If you're doing it on Thursday, write Thursday. Let me see when everyone is doing their exams. Let's see when everyone is doing the exams. So I want to see who's doing it on Tuesday. I want to see who's doing it on Wednesday. Man like Kami, first guy in the house Tuesday. Kami, so Tuesday. My private group two teams, I sent you a message. We're going to have a motivational session as well with you guys tomorrow. Special session. Yvonne Grant in the house. Respect to Yvonne. Hassan Friday. Wow. So we've got Omar Thursday. So we've got lots of Thursdays. We've got lots of Fridays. Some Wednesdays. Great stuff. Lots of Tuesdays there. Great, 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 great. So coming Tuesday. Anissa, boss lady. Anissa in the house. Tuesday. The Tuesday crew. So a few people on Tuesday, quite a few on Thursday as well. You got me. I got you to Anissa. You know that the private book tutoring. Who else have we got? Logan. Logan. Man like Logan. Logan, when are you doing your exam? Let me know, Logan. Logan is the king, man. I tell you what, Logan, when you, like Logan. Logan, Logan is boss, man. Like Logan is just Logan. That's why I always say man like Logan. Because this guy right here, this guy right here, Logan, my guy is a G. My guys are top G, Logan. Logan, you have a top lad. You have a top lad. On the Telegram group, Logan is on it. He's on it on the Telegram group. He's giving it all his best. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. All of you guys on Telegram group helping each other 24-7. When I see that stuff, I think, wow, you lot are amazing. So are we ready for question number one? Let me share my slide. Let me share my slide. Let's go. Share the slide. Let me know if you can see the slide. If not, we are in big trouble. So can you guys see the slide? If you can see the slide, give me a yes. Give me a yes if this is clear. If you can see the slide, give me a yes, people. Give me a yes. I hope my bill has been paid today because today we cannot, cannot afford any problems with the internet, any problems with the internet. Today's a special day. 
as we get closer, we're going to pass this exam. Pay y'all! I didn't give a shout to pay all. Oh no, pay y'all! Yeah, I like pay all. Shout out to you, pay all. Shout out to you, East. Nagi, shout out to you. All of you shout out. Tim, Tim, Tim. <laughs> okay, question number one. Let's go. Remember the rules of the game. Before I start into the rules of the game, guys, it's only 26 likes. Please smash that like button before we start. I want to see that like going up to about 100. The 200 something of us on here. Smash the like button before the quest first question. Smash the like button. Smash that like button and we'll jump into the first question. Kami says, Marvin, what have I told you about using your neighbor's Wi-Fi? <laughs> oh, Kami, Kami, legend, legend, Kami. Right, let's, let's get in. So make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you smash that like button and we're going to jump straight in. Logan has got that acronym. That's a new one. Shout out to Haley from Brandon Owens. Haley, shout out to you from my life, Brandon. My life, Brandon is giving a shout out to Haley. Shout out to you. Let's smash this exam. That's it, babe. So that's a new code that um I think that was going on on Telegram group. Is that is that um was that was that actually was that from Osama bin and that's been changed to that's e babe. Sounds good. Sounds really good. Sounds really, really good. Great stuff. Someone's asking what conditions fall under vascular disease. This was all put on yesterday. What shape we have all the conditions for vascular disease? It was all put out for you yesterday. That was for heart failure. So the code is for heart failure. The new code right there by Man Like Logan. Very good stuff. I love to see that. In Ketchy Bam. How are you in Ketchy Bam? Give me a special shout out. So let's do shots. Let's put everything on there. Previous MI, correct. Peripheral arterial disease, aortic plaque. Yes, these are examples of vascular disease. What I like about you guys is you help each other. What I like about you is we are family. Okay, we are family. That's why when I come on here and I go like, oh, Jamie Taylor, but I say, man, my brother, I am serious because we are family. My sister Anissa in the house, yes, because we are family. We're going to help each other. We support each other and we pass together. Then we're going to have the disco, the pre-red shotgun disco. You know the score. So let's get this ready. Question number one. Let's jump straight in for you. Question number one. Let me remove this first, and then I'm going to share this slide. Let me remove this. Stop sharing this. Try stop sharing this. Remove this first. Come back. Then share my slides. Let me share my screen again. Share this stuff to you. Share this stuff to you. Great. So can you guys see the questions again? I think I need to take up that from the chat so that at least you can see. Let me take this off the chat. All right, let's remove that. Great, great. So you guys can all see the slides clearly. Today we've got some interesting questions. Um, right, make that a bit bigger for you. Great stuff. So um, get ready for the next, the first question. Remember, don't put your answers down. Man like AJ Rankin, the banter is covering you. The banner is covering you. <laughs> I told you so the, ban the banter is covering you. Yeah, so the banner is gone so you guys can all see the slides now, which is good. So, no answers down till I ask you. So, this is the question right here for you. Make that a bit bigger, and I'm assuming that all of you can see the question now. So, no answers until I ask you for an answer. Okay, what's your answer, peeps? Put your answers down. What is the answer to this question? What is the answer to this question? What is your answer to this question? Let me see all your answers. So let's see what we've got. We've got loads of Bs coming up. Mata B, Mira B, Bird B, Anissa B, Harry Young B. Wow, loads of Bs. 
bees. Anyone got anything different from B? We're getting low to B. Low to bees, low to bees. Low to bees. Great, 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 great. Lots of bees. Katie Gibbs bees. And pay all in the house. B. Audrey Chatu. Great stuff. Loads of bees. Loads of bees. Anyone anything different from bees? I've got some E's. Connor says E. Uh, Rima bees. Loads of bees. Loads of bees. Loads of bees. Loads of bees. Wow. It seems like bees are winning. Anna Rosanska. How are you, Anna Rosanska? Anna, I've got some anti emetic questions for you today, Anna. You'll be pleased to know. <laughs> You don't know, Anna, the questions are coming up today, today for you. Great stuff. Did I see Kate Hadley? Did I see Katie Hadley go around somewhere? Katie, if you're on here, please type your name on there, Katie. Let me give you a shout because Katie is on top. Where is Katie Hadley? Katie, put your name on there. Let me give you a shout. My Liverpool pool, my Liverpool. <laughs> Kate Hadley, you know the score, Kate. What is going on, Kate? Yes, to the Liverpool Massive. Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool. Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool. Yes, mate, what's going on, mate? I love Liverpool. Great stuff, Kate. Okay, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Great. So, everyone has got B. Well, my, almost everyone's got B, so... The answer, the answer to this question, as you guys can tell from the majority of the answers from everyone, the answer is indeed B. Definitely learn your targets, learn your INR targets, they're so important. Previously, we used to have INR ranges, but the good thing is they don't have that anymore. Now they just have targets. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a good way for those of you that did not get this correct. If you didn't get this correct, I'm gonna just show you a good way to remember this stuff. So um, that can help you. It's true, this table, this is what I showed to my five FTTs as well. So, um, your INR targets, the two things you need to remember, if you don't want to memorize so many things, just learn about recurrent DVT or PE. The word recurrent is very powerful. Remember recurrent and then mechanical prosthetic hard bars because those are the two that are 3.5. So, if you memorize this stuff, the recurrent DVT or PE and mechanical prosthetic hard bars are 3.5, then everything else is 2.5. That's why I say it's so easy. That's how I learn it. I learn it that way, right? So I may not remember dilated cardiomyopathy. Or I might not remember uh, mitral stenosis. So regurgitation is 2.5. I may forget that. But um, I don't really memorize those ones. All I memorize is recurrent DVT or PA is 3.5. And the mechanical prosthetic heart valve is 3.5. Then I know everything else is 2.5. So normally you could go um, up or down 2.5. So you could go with less. So it's a fixed number, it's a target, it's 2.5, but you're allowed to be within 0.5 up or within 0.5 down. That is satisfactory, okay? So uh, please learn your eye on our targets. Very important for your exam and know which um, targets for each um, condition. So 3.5 is recurrent DVT or PE. That word recurrent is what makes that 3.5, okay? Great stuff, great stuff. So are you ready for the next question? Give me one if you're ready for the next question. Give me one, give me one. It's going to be a question on the CNS. We're going to look at some CNS questions right now. Give me a one. Give me a one. Great stuff. Great stuff. Let me see some of your comments. Let me see some of your comments. Make sure everyone is ready. You guys are getting all the answers correct, right? You guys are doing very well. Logan one, Sam Jacks one. Yes, loads of ones are coming up. Internet is working perfectly. Great. Nagis one, loads of ones. Right, so let's look at this question. Where is Anna? I think she asked about this question. So let's jump in and let's see what the next question is. You guys ready? No answer until I ask you for the answer. That's the question.
All right, people, what's your answer for this question? What's the answer? Let's see your answers. What is your answer for this question? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see your answers. Come on, let's see your answers. Let's see your answers. Kami, <laughs> Marvin, for a guy who's almost 80 and is on the mountain, you've got a good memory. <laughs> oh man, man like Kami, I'm going to get you back. I'm going to get you back tomorrow. You know the score, I'll get you back. Right, so we're getting loads of D's, D's, Rima D, Niraj D, Jermaine in the house, D, Holy Jones has got D, and an explanation like a boss. Holy Jones has explained it like a boss. Boss lady on there. Great stuff, great stuff. Kate Hadley, D, great stuff. Lam Timoti, Long Ling, Yang Lang, Mang Lang, Long Timoti, my brother. Nice one. Kami, definitely. <laughs> Kami. Kami, Kami, Kami. I'm not putting Kami's, Kami's responses up anymore. <laughs> Logan, what we got? So I'm getting loads of Ds, loads of Ds, loads of Ds, 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 Ds. Everyone's got a D, everyone's got a D, everyone's got a D. Anyone else got anything different from a D? Has anyone got something that's not D? So loads of Ds, loads of Ds. You lot are ready for this exam. You're all going to smash it. You're all going to smash this exam. So remember what I said to you. When you get to this point, you need to give yourself a pat on the back, a pat on the shoulder, because at this stage, you've learned so much, and so you're doing very well. I don't want anyone sitting down here and saying, oh, I got this right, yeah, but it's an easy question. It's not going to come up in the exam because it's too easy. No! These are exactly the sort of questions that are going to come up, all right? I've not made these questions hard. I've not made them easy. I've just made them realistic because they are, that's the level of sort of questions you'll be getting. So if you got it correct, feel good, feel proud of yourself, and smash that like button because you're doing very well. So the answer is indeed D. And yeah, like Holly Jones from Northampton Share. Holly Jones, big up the Northampton Share Massive. Holly Jones had on there, doesn't cross the BBB. You know the score, Holly Jones. You know the score. It doesn't cross the BBB. And so that's why it can be used in Parkinson's. So well done, well done to all of you. Are you ready for the next question? Give me a two, give me a two. Give me a two. But before that, let's go to the learning. <laughs> I always do this now. I said, let's go to the next question. Now remember, oh, I've got some learning for you. So, right, let's look at this. Anna, let's look at this, right? So um, when it comes to antiemetics, um, I'm going to show you some of the key things you need to learn when it comes to antiemetics. You get a few questions, not too, too many questions at antiemetics. So don't get too stressed about this area. But um, domperidone is one of the most important ones for you to learn because um, you don't give it to children that are less than 12 for N and N, um, nausea and vomiting, N and V. But um, also, it's very important to know about the dose as well and the duration. So with domperidone, it's normally you don't exceed one week. So try to give it for the shortest period of time and the smallest dose. Also, another thing about domperidone is it could cause cardiac disease. It could affect the heart. It could cause QT prolongation. So anything cardiac, um, avoid. Anyone's got any cardiac disease or any problem with the heart, um, palpitations, avoid giving domperidone. Avoid giving them peridone. So that's it, just a quick learning for you for this medication. But when it comes to antiemetics, please, don't peridone, metoclopramide, drugs are quite important because some of them have MHRA warnings. So are you guys ready for the next question? I can see lots of tools, lots of tools, lots of tools. So that tells me you are ready. You know the best place to be tonight. This is the best place to be where we learn and we have fun. We work hard and we play hard. That's how we pass. So that's the next question for you. No answers until I asked you for the answer. Okay, so what are your answers? Before I go into your answers, I think there's some comments that I'd like to touch on. I'd like to touch on. I would like to touch on a few of them. 
All right, so you can put your answers down. People, put your answers down, put your answers down, put your answers down. So many comments, I can't see all of them, but I can see one from Rima. Rima KH, is it also appropriate for dementia? I think that's what we'll look at, Don Peridone. Yes, it is, because it doesn't cause the blood-brain barrier. So anything that doesn't cause your blood-brain barrier would be good for anyone that has got any sort of mental um, condition or any condition that really affects the brain. So yes, that's correct. What have we got? What have we got? What else have we got? Any other comments? Any other comments I need to touch on? I need to touch on. Wow, there's so many of them. Wow, Snee. Hi, S N I I Snee. Hello for the first time. Snee's here for the first time. Welcome to the family, Snee. Welcome to the family. It's always good to have someone new. Welcome and join the family where we learn and we have fun. This is what we do. Welcome, Snee. Big up to you. Thanks for joining the family. We're going to have fun tonight. And you're welcome. You're part of the success family. Great stuff. So what, what answers do you guys have for this one? What do we have? Let me see all your answers. What, what's your answer for this question? What's your answer for this question? I've got B. Okay. So I've got some Bs. I'm guessing that's for this question. Be my B. Become, become stuck. <laughs> right. So I've got good Bs. I've got um, B O C. Kate is no C, B O C. <laughs> we shall find out what this is. And um, what is our buzzword for today? So those of you are here for the first time, like Snee. If you're here, Snee 74, Snee 74. If you're here for the first time, those of you are here for the first time, we normally have a buzzword. And the buzzword is the word that you tap down when you learn something new. Like, oh, Marvin, I did not know this. Wow, I know this now. Yes. So what's our buzzword for today, guys? Let's go for big up. Right, big up is the boss word for tonight. Big up. If you learn something new tonight, I just wanted to go big up. Yes. So, those of you that got this question wrong, I'm hoping you're going to give us lots of big ups after this. So, for this question, you need to know um, your anti epileptics, you need to know which drugs, anti epileptics, are safest in pregnancy. Okay, potential question they could give you. You need to know which ones are safe in pregnancy because we know most of them are teratogenic. But which ones are safe first? So you try to avoid all of them. But if you had to give um, some of them, you give the answer is B, people. is B, Lamotrigine and Levotiracetam. Lamotrigine and Levotiracetam are the two um, anti-epileptics that are the safer ones in pregnancy. So the best way to remember that is the two L's. That's how I teach it. The two L's. L's for pregnancy. The two L's are your safer ones in pregnancy. The two L's. Which one would you even come close to? Which is the worst in pregnancy, people? Which is the worst one in pregnancy? Give me the answer. Which is the one that you not even touch? Which one is the worst in pregnancy? The most dangerous in pregnancy? Which is it? Cam has got LL Cool J. Yes, Cam, you know that. Sodium vaporate, fantastic. Sodium vaporate, what is the percentage? What is the percentage of teratogenicity of sodium vaporate? What is, let me look for the nerds right now. What is the percentage? What is the percentage teratogenicity of sodium vaporate? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are the nerds? Where are my nerds? Where are my cool nerds? Yes, Anissa is a nerd. We all know that. So she is back. The number one nerd in town. Anissa is in the house. 30 to 40, absolutely correct. More nerds, more nerds, Logan the nerd, Beth nerd, wow, I love nerds, Tanzil Ahmed, great stuff. So 30 to 40% teratogenicity, that is very, very bad, dangerous drug to give to pregnancy. So thank you all of you nerds for supporting and giving us this answer. Big up Abu, Abu Abaya has got a big up man like Abu, thanks for bigging that up. If you learn something new, big it up, big it up, big it up, big it up tonight. That's what we do. We big up and we pass. We pass. So, knee, knee M says CP3LT isn't L Lamotrigin. Um, I don't know what your L is. I don't know what this code is. But hey, let me ask you guys another question. Which drugs do you give by brand? Brand names, guys. Which anti epileptics have to be given by brand? Which anti epileptics have to be given by brand? Man like Jamie Taylor, big up because everyone here is a nerd. You know that, Jamie. These are nerds because if you're here on a Sunday night, then you are a nerd, right? If you're sitting on here on a Sunday night during the session, you are a nerd. And I love nerds. 
CP3, I can tell all of you on there. CP3, that's from the course. That has even been modified. Can me what is the modified version of that? CP3, that's correct. CP3, I'm man like Vibronic Wolf. CP3, R, oh, you know the score. Carbamazepine, phenobarbital, phenytoin, primodine. You know that. The PR is for you to know primodine. Great stuff, great stuff, great stuff, great stuff. Great stuff. Well done, was A.B. asking, why is Valpoet first line here in all of your acronyms, Marvin? We will always avoid A and go to the alternative like C in the absence. Woo! Right, so that's a completely different question, A.B. Yes, normally Valpoet is first line because it is the most popular drug, but we're talking about pregnancy. In pregnancy, we avoid it, but generally when you come to epilepsy as a whole, then sodium valproate is normally the first line. But depending on what epilepsy you're treating. For instance, if I ask you guys, what's the first line for full car seizures? What are you going to say? If I ask you, what is the first line for full car seizures? What are you going to say? What is the first line for full car seizures, people? What is the first line for full car seizures? Let's see, where are the nerds? Where are my nerds? Where are my nerds? Where are my nerds? What is the first line for full car seizures? Let's answer Abby's question. Carbamazepine and Nissan nerd number one is back. Nerd number one is back. The nerd number one. Yvonne, the nerd is gone on there. Fatima, the nerd. Correct. Shaz, the nerd. Oh, loads of nerds. So, um, focal seizures. Remember the code I gave you guys? Fibronic Roof remembers the acronym. Full car. Full car. What's the C for? Carbamazepine and the L is for Lamotrigin. All right? Full car seizures. So, Hope that answers the question. So sodium valproate is definitely the most popular. Um, it's used for a lot of seizures. However, when it comes to pregnancy, when we're focusing on just epilepsy and pregnancy, that's when we look at the two L's, like man like Kami talks about, LL Cool J. Look at the two L's when it comes to pregnancy, LL Cool J, you know the score. Great stuff, great stuff, great stuff, nerds in the house. Big up to all of you nerds, big up to all of you nerds. I'm loving nerds. Right, are you guys ready for next question? If you're ready for next question, give me a two, give me a two, give me a two. If you're ready for the next question, smash the like button and let's get on to the next question. Let's get on to the next question. Let's see if I can make that big for you guys. Yes, next question. So, L for pregnancy. LL Cool J, I love that Kami. I remember that LL Cool J for the pregnant ladies. So anti-epileptic pregnant ladies think about LL Cool J. <laughs> then we go for the next question. Over to you. So no answers until I ask you for the answers. No answers until I ask you for the answers. All right, people, what are your answers? Give me your answers, give me your answers. What is the answer to this question? What is the answer to this question? Make sure you read that question properly. Make sure you read that question properly. Let me see what your answers are. Let's get out of here. Let's see your answers. What have we got? Let's see what we've got. So again, loads of bees. Aisha at the dial in the house. Aisha, how are you, Aisha? How are you, Aisha? Wow, Claire is going for it. Beat you, Jamie. Jamie, man like Jamie, you be beaten by a lady. Man like Jamie, you should be embarrassed, bro. <laughs> well done, Claire. Claire, tell him as it is. Tell him, Claire. Tell Jamie, you, Claire, are the number one nerd. So, Jamie, just chillax. Relax, Jamie. Relax. You've been smashed, bro. You have been knocked out of there by Claire. What you saying, Payal? What you saying? Payal in the house. Increase risk of EPSE. Wow, Payal is bringing it on. Payal is bringing it on now. Yes, increase risk of EPSE. Great stuff. Great stuff. Man like Reese B for blood clots. 
You know that means you know that block clap thing right there. Block clap thing. <laughs> Damn, Jamie. Yes, Jamie. Block clap Taylor. You've been ripped by Claire. You've been ripped apart by Claire, bro. Big up to Claire for being man like Jamie apart. Sasha, Popo Kerosene should also be avoided. Great stuff, great stuff, great stuff. People are coming through now. They are coming through. Great stuff. You guys are all awake. You are you are all going to pass this exam. You are all going to pass this exam. I promise you. Yes, it's going to be remarketed. It's going to be lots of bees are coming through. Most of your answers are correct. You all know your stuff. You've been learning hard and you deserve it. Remember what I said to you. Men lie, women lie, but the free reg numbers don't. Since 2011, we've always had above 72% pass rate in the summer, and we will have between 80 and 85% this year. That's my prediction for you. You will all smash it. Man like Harry Young. Harry Young. Man like Harry. How are you, Harry Young? Yes, I love it. 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 So it's very good. So you need to learn this about your um, anti-epileptics, anti your anti-emetics. Um, definitely, metoclopramide, you need to know about the side effects, the same like your domperidone. And um, these are questions that tend to come up in your exam and they're very important anti-emetics to learn. So I think I've got some learning for you, maybe, maybe not. But um, yes, avoid metoclopramide because it increases. Yeah, like payal. Why you say payal? Why you say payal? Because you spoke about EPSC. You are absolutely right, payal. Yeah, like payal in the house. Increase EPSC. Payal in my private tutoring group. Tomorrow we're going to chat. Tomorrow we've got a, a program tomorrow for you guys. All right, great stuff. Um, Yes, so next question for you. Oops, oops, I went too quick. All right, next question. Are you guys ready? That's for you. Right, so what's your answer, people? What's your answer? What's your answer to this question? What's your answer to this question? What's your answer? Where are my nerds? Where are my nerds? <laughs> Man like Kono! Kono leader, what are you saying, Kono? Recommend for Kimo B. Kono's gone for B. Kechiban B. Holy Jones B. Georgina B, wow, lots of Bs. Man like Camis, just B, 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 B. A bit Claire and Jamie, boom, man like Reese. Reese, bro, God, Reese in the house. Smash Jamie out of the place, smash Claire. Reese, you've got to go for Anissa. You've got to go for Anissa now. Take Anissa out as well. <laughs> the nerds are all getting out of the way. More and more nerds are coming through. I don't know why, but it always recommends for chemo. Rima doesn't know why. She's like, you know what, Marvin? I don't know why, but I am going to go for B. Yes, Rima, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Unknown. Someone is unknown on here, but they're still getting it right. You don't need to be known to get it right. Even if you're unknown, you can still smash this exam. Even though you're unknown with no name on the paper and no name in the exam, you can still pass the exam. <laughs> unknown, you are a legend. Unknown, you are a legend. You know why you're a legend? Because nobody knows you. Nobody knows you. Anissa, woo, that's a warning from you from Claire. Claire is going for it. Anissa, oh, oh guys, there is going to be a new queen in the house. Claire is going for Anissa's title. 
Wow, get ready to rumble! I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love it. In palliative care, hello, peridol, olive oil. Yes, ABM, palliative care, you're correct. That's what we use for palliative care, great stuff. I'm asking you guys these questions and I'm going to give you a little lecture at the end just to help you with your medications when it comes to anti-emetics. What have we got? Man like Jamie is coming back. Undiacetron doesn't work for motion sickness because vestibular system doesn't help. Oh, man, like Jamie Blood Club, tell us coming through, trying to take that title from Claire and Anissa. Roll on. A lot of people are coming through now. Too many nerds are coming through. This title is like just going from left to right, right to center. It's just going all over the place now. So everyone is coming through. Everyone. Great stuff. I love it. 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 So, are you guys ready for the next question or perhaps some learning? Let's say perhaps some learning. <laughs> Let's see what Camus says. I always try to resist Camus things to write on there, but you can't resist man like Camus. Man like Camus from Preston, the only guy from Preston in the UK doing the exam, the only one in Preston that was able to get into pharmacy. Bring it up, for Camus. <laughs> Camus did not get the grades, but he got in. From Preston, he was able to mix things up and he bought the certificate in the market. Yes, Kami, big up to Kami. Kami, man, like Kams in the house. Great stuff. Let's give you some learning. Let's give you some learning. Let's do some learning now. Let's do some. How are you, Olga? Let's do some learning right now for you. Some tips for you. Let me go to my main slide and get that up for you so that you can learn the stuff. Oh, 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 before some learnings, more questions, more questions, more questions. So if you're ready for the next question, give me one, give me a one, give me a one. Logan says, Kami came out of the hood, yeah. <laughs> Kami, Kami is dodgy. Preston, man is representing for the people of Preston, man like Kami. Man like Kami from Preston. There we go, next question for you guys. I'm sure this will be so easy and you guys will smash it. The reason why I'm giving you these questions, again, remember, I'm giving you things that are realistic. Some of these questions, some of you might go, oh yeah, I know that's easy, but remember, this is, I want you to start having a feel of what the real exam is like, okay? Here's the reality. It's not all difficult, like some people make you think and what you see in some questions, and it's not all too, too easy, but it is realistic. So I'm giving you a mix of a little bit. Some of them might just be slightly challenging, but the others that might be so easy, but that's exactly what you're going to see when you go into the exam in a few days' time. So, we are bringing it home, Claire. We are bringing it home. Everyone is going to bring that GPHC pass home. Everyone is bringing the GPHC pass home. We are going to pass this exam. All of us are going to pass this exam. And promise me when you all bring it home, you're going to leave pre-read shortcuts and review Promise me that when you pass this exam, you will not abandon man like Marvin over here. You're going to leave me a review. You know what I mean? <laughs> so great stuff, guys. What is your answer to this question? Drop your answer down. What is your answer to this question? What have we got for this question? What is your answer? Let me see. Let me see my nerds coming through. Why I say, Claire? Why I say? Where is your answer? If Bond is going for an E. C from Aryan. Wow, I'm getting different answers. Am I on the same question? Chachu Audrey, my girl, Sava Audrey. Got to speak some French with my country lady, Sava Audrey, the special Audrey from Cameroon, from my country. My fellow lady, Audrey, how are you, Audrey? Great stuff. So I'm getting double A from Unknown. Unknown is coming through. Man like Lam Long Timothy, Lam Long Ying Timothy. I love this brother. I love this brother, Lam. I love you, Lam Tim Long Ying Timothy, Long Lam Ying. I love you, Timothy. I love you, my brother. Great stuff. Neck has gone for a D. Hasib is going for a C. Hakim A. A. Joe going for A. Kishan B. Wow, we are getting different answers, aren't we? Aren't we getting different answers here? What else have we got? What else have we got? Maybe I've got two reviews ready. <laughs> one good and one not so good. Which review will it depend on my results? <laughs> you're going to pass. You're going to get the good review because you will definitely pass my brother, Kami. You will pass. All right, great stuff. I'm getting this right. So I've got loads of these. 
these all along. So let me see. I want to see one confident nerd. Okay, I just want one confident nerd that can confidently tell me what the answer is. Like confidently. Like, you know what, Marvin, this is the answer. If you're a nerd and you're confident, where are those nerds? Where's Anissa? Come on. Where are you guys now? Where are the nerds? I want to see one nerd put the answer to Marvin, this is the answer. What have you got? What have we got? Yvonne has gone for E. Kate has gone for B. D. Anissa has gone for D. Wow, that's the nerd. It's going D. 100% D. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And Jazz Deep is coming through. Next nerd, Jazz Deep. Legend, Jazz Deep. I promise you it's D. I want to see some confidence now. I want to see some real confidence with this stuff. I want to make sure you're 100% sure what you're talking about. Man like Muhammad, Muhammad Zainuddin in the house. I see you, Muhammad, right there. I see you, see what up, my boy. Muhammad is seeing see right there. See if you better answer to my man like Muhammad. Great stuff. So the answer to this question, people, the answer to this question, let's see who the nerds are. Let's see who the nerds are. The question is, the answer is indeed D. D, don't peridone acts on the chemoreceptor trigger zone. D is your answer. Don't peridone. Don't peridone act at the chemoreceptor trigger zone. Please learn that stuff. Please learn that stuff. Please learn that stuff. Just in case it comes up into your, in your exam. Aion is bigging it up. Unknown goes apomorphine. We don't have apomorphine on there, but yes, there are other drugs as well that act on the chemo trigger zone. And apomorphine should be one of them. But on here right now, it is don't peridone. Don't pet me, don't. All right? Important, important, important. Okay, so let's see. Next question, next question, next question. Great stuff, people. Great stuff, great stuff. I swear all except cyclazine were to some extent. Wow, to some extent. <laughs> so don't pet me, don't. There are some drugs. I'll give you a list of some of them. But, um... Yes, there are quite a number of drugs that work in the chemo receptor zone. But with these drugs on here, it is your dumb peridone. Okay, next what we got. Wow, Kate's asking a question there. Wow, who can answer that question? How does it get to the chemo receptor if it does cross the BBB? It doesn't cross the BBB. It doesn't cross the BBB. No, it doesn't cross the BBBK. <laughs> it doesn't cross the BBB. That's what we use it for Parkinson's. Great stuff. Big up Hakim. Big up Hakim in the house. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. Great stuff. Great stuff. Man like Jamie Taylor. Legend. Legend. Ledge. It doesn't cross. Does the BBB correct? It doesn't cross it. It doesn't cross it. Great man like Logan. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Let's see what other comments we have. What other comments? Are you guys ready for the next question? If you're ready for the next question, give me a one. Give me a one. Give me a one. Give me a one. Those of you on the notes, Kitchen Bam is asking for all the other drugs. There are a number of drugs. It's all in your notes in the previous shortcuts notes. Look at the other drugs that act on your chemoreceptor trigger zone. I have a list of them at the beginning of your notes. Lots of ones, lots of ones, lots of ones, lots of ones, lots of ones. Great stuff. So it might be a question or it might be some learning. It is a question. And I'm expecting all of you to smash it. So all these questions I'm asking you because of anti -emetics. I'm just trying to show you some of the key parts you need to learn with your anti -emetics. Don't go too wild out with antimetics. We don't get too many questions from them. But when you get questions, they normally around this drugs. So that's your next question for you.
All right, people, what's your answer for this question? What's your answer? I'm guessing you all smashed this one. What is your answer? What is your answer for this question? Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Let's see. Man like Danny, Yvonne Grant on fire. Yvonne is coming through on the, the nerd. Yvonne is going for it. Yvonne is going for the fight. Yvonne is going for that title as well. Wow. 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 The ladies. You know what? We can, you know what? We can actually say that the ladies are actually winning the title. Guys, I'm sorry, but it is a fact right now. We've got Gia like Claire coming through. We've got Anissa. We've got Yvonne coming through. Everyone's coming through now, but the ladies are definitely on fire. I want to see my dogs, man. Where are my boys? Where are my boys coming through? Come on, Cammy. Come on. Don't let this ladies take the crown. Don't let this ladies take the crown. Come on, guys. Jamie Taylor, why are you doing it? Why, Jamie? Man like Jamie, come on. Let's take this crown back, please, people. Let's get our crown back. Man like Logan, where you want Logan? Man like Logan, let's get this crown back, Logan. <laughs> Great. So um, this question, definitely loads of correct answers. Loads and loads of correct answers. Men lie. Women lie, but remember the pre reg exam doesn't, the results don't lie. You always get above 70% since 2011 in the summer. So this year, you will all pass, people. You will all smash it. I will keep saying that statement as a motivation just to remind you that those of you doing the exam in the next couple of days, you have a very, very, very high chance of passing this exam like everyone else in the past many years, 10 years or so. So believe in yourself. Lots of queens coming through. The queens are teaming together. That's what's going on right now. Claire and Anissa have got together like best friends. And that makes it even harder for the men to take the crown from them. This is what happens. The ladies work together. They work together. They get together and don't give any chance for the guys. Come on, Kami. You need to team up with Logan. Logan, you need to get man like Jamie on your team. Guys, you need to get together and let's take this crown away. Let's take this thing away, guys. Let's take it home with us. It is coming home. The GPHC pass is coming home. So definitely it is cross. So very important. Learn this stuff. It's an OTC and it's also a pump question. Very good. Very good. Very, very good. So um, is that what? So next question. Next question. Let's go, boys. Yes, Jamie, tell them. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. The next question, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ready? Hang on. What have I got on there? Let's see some comments coming through. Gemma Henderson's got a good comment on there. Gemma Henderson. Gemma Henderson. PNF says the phenotizers, that's correct. The phenotizers, that is correct. And that's what we have in the notes. Your phenotizers act centrally by blocking. That is correct. And you have those drugs in the notes. Just for previous question, pick E. Phenotizing E. Oh, very interesting one. Very good for coming back to our question. Let us, should we go back to our question? Let's see. Phenotizings, phenotizings, lipopromazine. Ah. Lipopromazine, phenotizing. I think that's correct. I think that is potentially correct. I think that's a phenotizing. So normally, yes, the phenotizing are your drugs. All in your notes in the first line. Let me bring that up if I can. No, I can't bring this up tonight. Let me see. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So if I can share this slide, can I share this slide with you guys? Maybe not. If I share this slide, it might take off my questions. But yes, phenotizing, phenotizing are your drugs. They are the ones that normally will work on your chemo receptors, trigger zone, and you have that in your nose. Oh, some of you ask me, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The nose? It's under your nose, your vomiting, what we cover antimetics. I don't know if I can share my slides. If I share the slides, I could try to do that. Let me see if I can do it. Let me see if I can do it for you guys. So when you go back, you can read this and make sure that you are ready for it in the exam. Right, right. Can I get to the page? Can I get to the page? Can I get to the page? I've got so many notes. Jeez, did I do so many notes for you guys? Let's see. All right. All right. All right, people. Let me share where it is on the notes. So we'll be like, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Let me show you where it is. Let me see if I can stop sharing the screen and if I can share a new screen. Let's see. Let me see if I can share a new screen with you so that you can see this and you can know which drugs just in case. Is it this one? It is potentially this one. Right there, can you guys see that? 
So, on your slides, peeps, on your slides, peeps, can you guys all see this? Is it showing? Oh, I don't think it's sharing. Is it sharing? Is it sharing? Can you guys see this? Give me yes, give me yes, yes. So I think you can see that, although it's probably covered with German statement. But yes, so the bottom one, phenotizing, copromazine, although I didn't have promotizing on that one. But I've got promazine, um, procoperazine, our dopamine antagonist, and block the chemo receptor trigger zone, good prophylaxis or treatment. So these are the ones, these are the ones, these are the ones with phenotizing. Learn this stuff, people, learn this stuff. It is in your notes. The bottom one, and these are the ones that will obviously act on your chemo receptor trigger zone, but as well, your dumb peridone does as well. So stop sharing this for the notes. Get back to this. Let's see where we can get those questions back. I hope I haven't lost my questions. Have I lost the questions? I hope not. Let's get into the questions, questions, questions. Where are you questions? I think it's that one. Is it this? Is it sharing? Let me know. Are the questions sharing or not? Are the questions back on? Let me know before I put the next question. Are the questions back on, people? Can you see the questions? If you can see the questions, give me a yes, give me a yes. If we are back on the questions, give me a yes. Let me make sure we are back. So I've got a yet from Jamie. I'm guessing that means you guys can see the question. If that's a yes, then great stuff. Yes from Georgina, so that's a yes. All right, so next, next one, next one, next one. Gosh, it's almost time. All right, next question, let's go. So I think we've done this one, so it's this one. This will be a two-second question. This will be a two-second question. If you've done so, smash the like. That's the next question for you. I know there's a little delay with some of these, but yeah, there you go. It's on now. I can see it's on. I've got two screens now just to make sure I can see what you guys are seeing. So remember, no answers until I ask you for your answer. But well done, Gemma Henderson, for pointing that out. Thank you, Gemma Henderson. You deserve a crown as well, Gemma Henderson. Great stuff. All right, what's your answer, people, for this question? What's your answer? Put your answer down. Put your answer down for me. What's your answer for this question? What's your answer? Fatima is asking, will the questions really be this easy? Past papers are so hard, they're making me go crazy. That is why I'm telling you, don't make yourself go crazy because you need to look at the reality. You guys need to, at this stage, it's all about motivating yourself, right? It's about motivating yourself. You don't want to be looking at very, very difficult questions for the exam that make you even demoralized. Because in the actual exam, there are many easy questions as well, which nobody seems to talk about. You've got 120 questions, and I can promise you, Fatima, I can promise you that if out of those 120 questions, they were all so difficult, there is no way on earth since 2011 we will always be getting consistently in the summer above 72% pass rate, and we get 85% pass rate. And in March, we had what? We had 88% pass rate. And then before that, you had one year, you had 95% pass rate. There is no way on earth, people, no way on earth. Most of the time, it's normal that we will always focus on difficult questions. Even when you do the exam, you don't remember the easy things you get right. When you come out of the exam, you only, only remember the things you didn't get wrong, isn't it? How many times do you see students coming out to talk about the easy questions? They don't. Most of the time, you come out with your friends and go, oh, wow, what was your answer for this question? Because, wow, this question was confusing. What was your answer? You don't go and ask anyone, oh, hang on a minute, what was your answer for um, the maximum duration of metoclopramide? You go, oh, no, you don't do that because that's an easy one. So try to get yourself, this is what we're going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to prepare your brain to think in the right way, motivation at its highest level, all right? So forget about all these questions that are difficult and things like that. In the exam, it is true you will get one or two questions, but what I'm trying to remind you is that majority of them are either very easy questions or the questions that are average questions, the questions that they expect you to know. 
okay? There will be one or two very tough ones that will be in there. And that's why we say to you, it doesn't even matter if you get a number of questions wrong in the exam. You need to know that you have an allowance to fill a number of questions and still pass that exam and still pass that exam. So a lot of things you need to start saying to yourself now to motivate yourself to see things as they are, no worse than they are. The truth about it is out of 120 questions, they may have about 10 very difficult questions, but in that exam, you can fail up to 34 questions in your clinical and still pass that exam. So what are you gonna focus on? Are you gonna focus on what you're getting right? Or are you gonna let yourself lose all your motivation by what's going on wrong? Tomorrow don't miss the session because it's gonna be motivation at its highest. At its peak, I'm gonna give you the best motivation ever to walk into that exam like a boss and to walk out that exam like a bigger boss. You know the score. Yes, Anissa, no, what are you say? Anissa, how's everyone feeling for cards? How's everyone feeling for cards? Tomorrow we're gonna show you ways in which you can stay motivated. I'm hoping perhaps we might get Uma in. Uma has been so, so busy working, so he's not been able to join us for these sessions. But um, I'm sure if Uma is around, he would like to come and give a word. All right, so um, before we go, before we go, I want to give you one last question. It's going to be on insulins, because insulins are important. Always come on the exam as well. I thought I'll cover some of the antiemetics, but I want to give you a question on insulin, and I want you guys to do this question, because it's a typical kind of GPC question. So if you get this question right, great. Right? You don't need to say to yourself, oh, this is too easy. You should know that you're ready for the exam. So I'm skipping a few questions, but let's do this question. Let's do this question, guys. It's a typical question. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I hope you'll be able to see it because a lot on the slide. But let's try this question. And when you get your answer, please give me your answer. But don't put the answer till I ask you. I'm going to see if I can make this bigger. And actually, let me see if I can take my screen out of here. Is that even possible? So you can see it better. That is what comes up. That's a typical question that will come up in the exam. The GPH exam, you got 120 questions in your clinical. Believe me, they're not all tough. There are many. There are easier questions than difficult questions. Okay? There are easier questions in your exam than difficult, same as the calculations. So um, tomorrow we're going to have those of you that can make it tomorrow, make it tomorrow. Tomorrow is not about questions. We're not going to do anything to make anyone feel uncomfortable or feel worried. Like, oh, I've not covered this. We're not going to talk about anything notes related or revision related. Tomorrow, it's all about motivation. It's about positivity. It's about the day of the exam when you walk in. And it's really about ask, asking questions on here about people that have done the exam, what it was like on the day of the exam. So Anissa says this, which is quite important. The pass mark in March was 
24 on 40 for calculations. So just think about that for one second. Think about this for one second, people, right? So you have 40 questions. Out of the 40 questions, you are allowed to fill 16. You are allowed to fill 16 and still pass. You're allowed to pass 24 of them and fill 16 questions. And they're not going to give you 24 tough questions, or they wouldn't even give you 16 difficult questions. In your calculations, you might have three tough questions out of the 40. But even if you fill all those questions, no big deal. You still pass the exam. The aim is to pass the exam. It doesn't matter whether you can't pass the exam with an A or an A plus or an A star. All you get is a pass, right? Pass. So with calculations, it was 60%. So you know, generally what we say, oh, 70%, 70%, oh, 70%. Yes, it is true that 70%, but most of the exams, that could be brought down. So in March, it was brought down to 60%. Think about that. Just think about that for a second. So um, feel positive. Tomorrow is about realistic. Tomorrow we'll look at things as they are. No panic. Giving you the right way to think, looking at things that they are for you so that you can smash this exam, okay? I want to get you in the right frame of mind because it doesn't matter. Let me ask you guys a question. How many of you remember a time? How many of you remember a time? Um, Olivia says, what is the pass mark for the clinical paper usually? So in um, Olivia, I think in uh, March, the pass mark was 84. Off my head, I think it was 84 on 120, right? I think 84 was the pass mark. So clinical as well, you have an allowance of about 34 questions and you're still passing. Okay, Olivia, Cynthia. So let me ask you guys a question. We'll do more of this tomorrow when I ask you this question. But let me just ask you guys right now. How many of you remember a time, right, at university? Rosie says, thanks, Marvin, you're a godsend. You are all godsend. You all got sense and you all passed the exam. But let me ask you guys an honest question. How many of you remember a time, right, say at university, where you study for an exam, Right, you learned some stuff, maybe the night before, or perhaps a few days before. You learned the stuff, right? Tim, Tim is confirming that. So yes, 84 over 120, which is quite good. It's quite good. You've got a good allowance to fail, to be honest. Don't be panicked if you don't know some things. You have a very good allowance to fail a number of questions and still pass the exam. That's why more people pass the exam than fail the exam. Right, so um, how many remember at university a time when perhaps you studied, you learned something, and then you went into the exam, that thing actually came up, the question came up on what you read, maybe the day before, night before, and for some reason, you forgot. And then when you came out of the exam, the moment you walked out of the exam, you thought, oh my God, like the answer came to your head. I thought, oh my God, I can't believe I got that wrong. Like you knew it. It wasn't that you didn't know it, you actually knew the stuff, but for some reason, in the exam or exam day, you forgot, you forgot it and you remember when you came out. If you've had that experience, type of one, type of one, type of one, because this is exactly what we're going to be doing tomorrow. You've done the first part, and no one teaches you this apart from period short shortcuts, I'm telling you right now. I'm the only one who really focuses on this stuff because I know firsthand, I know firsthand that you've done two parts of your preparation, right? So um, you've learned, you've gone through the training, right? You've done all your reading. The next part, the next and the final part is your mindset in the exam. Like, Sometimes you can know stuff, but still get it wrong. There are many people that fail this exam, and that's why you don't have to be too worried, because even the people, if you look at the students that fail this exam, majority of them only fail this exam by one or two marks. I've been doing this for like four or five years, and every time people fail, they send up the, the, this course to me, right? Majority, I'll say probably about 90% of people that fail this exam fail by one or two marks. Is there anyone here that's done the exam before that failed? If you are, please just put down how many marks you filled this exam by. I always do that question, and I promise you, you see many people, three marks here, two marks there, four marks there. It's never really a very huge, huge, huge fail, unless they had perhaps something more serious happen, right? But um, so you need to remember this stuff, okay? It's so important that you know that in your exam, the last stage is your mental preparation. A mental preparation simply means you walk into the exam and you're in the right state of mind. That's the state of mind where you remember stuff. It's the same thing like, you know, okay, that's Audrey. Let's just see. Like Audrey says, yeah, she's done the exam before. She filled by two marks, okay? I know exactly what I'm telling you guys. Arion filled by two marks in the calculations. Nagis filled by two marks. Anissa, one, right? One. So this is very typical, people. Very, very typical. No, I don't think Anissa filled by one mark. I think Anissa just saying one, yeah? She experiences that. So um, very important. Miron by nine marks. Mohammed seven marks. So very, very few marks here, people. Um, AJ fell by three marks, so very fine margins, okay? 
And I can promise you that all of you that fail by one or two months or three months, there's probably a question in that exam that you got wrong that you knew. Or maybe even after the exam, you came out and thought, oh my goodness, I got this stuff wrong while I actually knew the stuff. So what I want to do tomorrow is prepare your mind so that that doesn't happen to you. You don't go blank in the exam. The same thing like when you see somebody and you go like, like Jamie, take an example, man like Jamie Brock, that Taylor. Imagine sometimes you see someone, you go like, oh, I know this person's name, but I can't remember. Like, you know the name, but you just can't remember. Why can't you remember? Because you're not in a remembering state. At that point in time, your mind is not in a state to remember that person's name. But later on, you remember the name. So you can read as much as you want, but you also have to do the final prep, which is the mental prep, is the mental state. And that's what we'll be doing tomorrow, people. Those of you that turn up tomorrow is going to be our last session tomorrow. And our session will be all about preparing you mentally for this exam. You've done the stuff. You've done the work. Let's get your mind ready so that when you walk into that exam, you remember you walk in like a bus. I'm thinking perhaps we'll try to do it very short tomorrow so that you guys get to bed early. Some of you are starting the exam at 8 o'clock. So um, tomorrow, we're going to be at the same time. It's going to be 8.30. I don't want to change that, but it's probably going to be half an hour to about 9 o'clock. Let you guys go to bed. It's going to be a positive session. You won't get worried about anything. We're not going to be answering questions. Nothing complicated to make you think, oh, I've not learned this, and I've not learned that, and I've not learned that. Tomorrow is all about you walking in here and feeling like, wow, I am ready for this stuff. I am ready for this stuff. Let's go! So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to all of you. Audrey, thank you. Jamie, my life, Jamie, thank you. All of you attending the session tonight. Thank you, everybody. Aliyah, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for attending the session. Stay positive. <laughs>